All right, so cranial nerves. Cranial nerves are nerves that emerge directly from the brain, including the brain stem. This is in contrast to spinal nerves, which emerge from uh, segments of your spinal cord. So there are 12 cranial nerves that, that you need to know. There are, there are 12 in total. Okay. Four of them arise. There's a rule of fours that make it easy. Four of them arise from the above of the pons, the first four. Um, so the next four arise at the pons. That's five to eight arrive, arise in the pons. And then the last four, cranial nerves nine to 12, arise in the midbrain. So this is the midbrain right here. Okay. The other rule of four is that four of them are medial. And these are all factors of 12 except for cranial nerve one and two. So, um, cranial nerve uh, three, cranial nerve four, cranial nerve six, and cranial nerve t um, 12 are all medial. Now, this will be significant later on, so I will be mentioning that again, but that is a brief rule four. I'm going to have an expanded rule four later. Now, I mentioned that these all arise at the bottom of the brain in the inferior portion, and they will all course throughout the face and even down to the neck and down and even one down to your um, your thorax and your abdomen as you can see nicely drawn beautifully drawn in this picture here that they go throughout all throughout your face and they have functions including motor sensory and parasympathetic functions um, I'm gonna this is a chart going through all of them you're gonna have to unfortunately memorize every one of these um, so you're just gonna have to devote some time sit down 30 minutes to an hour you're gonna have to memorize each um, each cranial nerve. There, it's a, they have a special name and then their functions. Okay. Actually, the the best way I found out figured to do this is to know the cranial nerve exam very well. It's a neurologic exam that they'll teach you hopefully. And um, if you know the cranial nerve exam well, then you're gonna know every function very well as well. Um, I've color coded all of these. Um, so orange will be sensation, uh, blue will be movement, and then uh, purple will be parasympathetics. Cranial nerve one is the olfactory nerve, and um, obviously it's responsible for smell. Cranial nerve two is the optic nerve, which is obviously responsible for vision then. Cranial nerve three is the oculomotor nerve. It's responsible for, um, there's six eye muscles. It's, uh, uh, it innervates four of those eye muscles. This is SR is superior rectus, IR is inferior rectus, MR is medial rectus, IO is inferior oblique. That also has parasympathetic function involved in eyelid opening and pupil constriction, as well as accommodation. We're gonna; these are all terms you probably have no idea what what it means. I don't have to memorize it now. We're gonna explain it more in detail later. Cranial nerve four is a trochlear nerve, uh, also responsible for eye movement. It's one of the other muscles, one of the other six muscles, the superior oblique. Cranial nerve five is the trigeminal nerve for facial sensation. The trigeminal nerve actually has three divisions. There's the um, V1, V2, and V3. You can Google a picture of it. It all makes sense. It's from V1 is the above it, above the eye, basically. V2 is the maxillary area. V3 is all the mandible and the lower jaw. It also the sensation from the anterior two thirds of the tongue, and um, it's also uh, it's a motor innervation for um, chewing for mastication. Okay. For all the tongue stuff, it's a little hard to keep it all in, all. Tra all together, I'm going to talk about that right after I talk. go through all these nerves. Um, cranial nerve 6 is abducens, also for eye movement. It's the last of the six muscles. This is the lateral rectus. Um, cranial nerve 7 is the facial nerve. It does facial movement, eyelid closing. Also, there's taste from the anterior two-thirds of the tongue. And there's parasympathetic innervation with lacrimation, crying, and salivation. Remember that... Um, the parasympathetics make you just leak out a lot of fluid, so crying, salivation, um, runny nose, blah, blah, blah. Peeing, pooping, does all of that. Cranial nerve 8 is the vestibular cochlear nerve. It's basically hearing and balance, so it's, um, your cochlea is in, in your ear stuff, vestibules also. Cranial nerve 9, glossopharyngeal. Taste and sensation from posterior one third of tongue, uh, motor innervation of swallowing, and elevation of the pharynx and larynx. And there's also parasympathetics, uh, salivation, and monitoring of the carotid and chemo, carotid chemo barrel receptors. Cranial nerve 9 and 10 are very similar, as you can see here. 
um, cranial nerve 10. I think cranial nerve 10 is basically, to me, it's like a lower portion. It's like farther back down. So it's taste from the supraglottic region. That's right before, like, right behind the tongue. There's also swallowing, soft palate elevation, and keeps the uvula midline. Um, it's responsible for talking your vocal cords, um, and then your cough reflex. And finally, there's also parasympathetics to the, again, the thorax and the abdominal viscera. And it monitors the aortic arch chemoreceptor. So remember, it's lower, so the aortic arch is below the carotid um, chemo and receptor, chemo and baroreceptors. Cranial nerve 11 is accessory nerve. It's a, mu it's a motor innervation um, to the uh, sternocleidal mastoid muscle and the trapezius. So sternocleidal mastoid muscle, I'll show you a picture later, but what it does is it um, does contralateral head turning. And then the shoulder shrug, uh, trapezius to basically lift up your shoulders. Finally, hypoglossal nerve is cranial nerve 12. It's responsible for a tongue movement. So we've covered all these cranial nerves, and there's a lot of them that different, differentially innervate the tongue, so I'm going to put it all together here. I'm going to draw out the tongue first. Um, so this is our tongue, and then this is our anterior to the... Oh, let's see. Let's erase that. Let's redraw it. So anterior two thirds is here. So the um, sensation, do you remember what that was from? Sensation was from the cranial nerve five. Remember that sensation to the whole face, and then the tongue's in the mandibular area, so it's V three, so V three, uh, man mandibular division. Do you remember what the taste was from? Taste was from cranial nerve seven. That's the facial nerve. Okay. And then for the posterior division, do you remember what, what did taste and sensation? Um, it's actually one nerve, so it makes our life easier. And this is the glossopharyngeal nerve. That's cranial nerve nine. Cranial nerve nine does taste and sensation in the posterior area. And what was responsible for tongue movement overall? Tongue movement. That was cranial nerve 12. And then um, bonus question. So we covered the tongue. What about the soft palate, which is back here? What was responsible for um, taste, um, basically elevation of the soft palate? And the answer would be the vagus nerve is soft palate elevation. Alright, so that's it for our cranial nerves.